Despicable Three. We've just got our lift XL and we're headed over to the Virgin Disney Springs check-in. Sad times, Jim. Sad times. Home time. Happy times when we get rid of these cases. <laughs> Good morning everyone. Sad morning everyone. <laughs> We're all a bit sad. It's checkout day. It's going home time. We've just done the Virgin checking at Disney Springs again. I love it. We'd always do it I think if we could now just because it's really nice to get rid of your suitcases on that last day. We like a little explore around Disney Springs and then we'll head straight to the airport from here. If you're with Virgin Holidays you don't have to pay but if you're just booked with Virgin Atlantic without the holidays package you pay I think it's ten dollars isn't it? Ten fifteen dollars. Yeah but it's an earlier flight for us this time. I think we fly at like five o'clock. Usually we fly like at like seven or something yeah. don't we? So we need to be at the gate it says for four so we'll probably leave here about two two-ish something yeah, like that we don't want to call you fine do we no yeah we're <laughs> we're very much stick to the rules people as you've probably worked that out from our videos the good thing about doing the disney springs check-in is you have your boarding cards already so when you get to the airport it's literally just straight through security which is spot on right then bit of an explore time something we've been debating for the last few days is where we're going to eat today we don't really know do we jim i'm not sure jimmy knows where he wants to eat no, he's changed his mind. Oh, is he? Yeah. Might not know what I want to eat, but I know what I want to drink. Oh, yeah, we're going to go to Starbucks and get a strawberry. Akai, Akai. Yeah. We were thinking of maybe doing a cinema, but because it's an early flight, I don't want to be stuck in there or have to leave early. Love to go cinema when we get home, eh? What's it? You want to see Godzilla? Yeah. First stop, Starbucks. There's a couple of Starbucks here. This one is opposite Star Wars Galactic Outpost. It looks like it's got quite a big indoor area, which will suit us quite nicely. Get refreshed, get our side up. Part of the shops here don't open till 11, but this opens at eight. So it's open already. Well, this is nice and cool. We've got a lovely seat, lovely booth. Jim's over there waiting for the drinks to come out. We've ordered two Trenta drinks, which is the biggest size there is. We've ordered a mango dragon fruit lemonade and a strawberry acai lemonade. And it came to $12.68, which makes you realise how good it was on the dining plan, because that would have been two snack credits. <laughs> but we've had to pay $12.68. I found the strawberry acai on the menu. Yeah, we thought they might have stopped doing it because we couldn't see it, but Jimmy managed to spot it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, these look so good! Which one's the acai? I taste This acai. one. That's the strawberry acai and that one's the mango dragon fruit. That first sip feeling. Let's see your first sip feeling. <laughs> Lovely, I like it. <laughs> you really? I love it. Oh, well, I was about to say, have this one instead. <laughs> you having some? You want some? I'll give it to you. <laughs> both They're both lovely. It tastes the same really much. This one just has a little bit of an extra flavour and a bit of this. Oh. Get some of this. So what's your favourite? Of course. The strawberry. Right. We're considering doing the void. We're just looking through the FAQ. And it says you have got to be 48 inches 1.2, which he is. And it's recommending 10 years old. He is only eight, but it looks like he may be able to get in. So we'll just have to wait and see. That's where we were sat just in that little glass booth bit there. We've got the party music on half 10 in the morning. Woo -hoo -hoo. So I'm doing the boombox again. Go on then. Oh. I'm doing the boombox, baby. Look at this. So beautiful. Isn't it lovely, Jimmy? Yeah. It just feels so strange to see it this empty, doesn't it? Dead, isn't it? Dead. I wish it could be like this all day. <laughs> That's where we went for a drink a week ago, hangar bar. It was lovely in there actually, right out the back I on the water. The hangry bar. The hangry bar. <laughs> they do do food in there actually. The do do do. We're on our way over to the void, which is near the toy shop. The what's it called? Once upon a toy. We don't know if he's gonna get in, but with fingers crossed. Jimmy says if he doesn't get in, can he have a donut to make up for it? Which seems like a fair deal to me. The donut would actually be cheaper, so maybe, maybe we can hope he won't get in. Use your fake ID. Oh my god, you know what, guys? 
You're being so incredibly mean for Chloe saying that. Seeing as we're going past the T-Rex shop, we can't not look in, can we? They had some good stuff in here. Everything, everything is on there. Oh yeah. Oh, that's Dad. Look, always hangry. They've got some official spirit jerseys in here. T-Rex Orlando. And then on the back it says Love Bites. They have some really funny like spoof teas. So they've got Why So Delicious for the Joker. That'll be uh, Terminator, will it? I'll be back. Found the clearance section. Last time I was here, I got a really nice mug with a rubber top for $3. They've got some mugs here for $6 but not really anything else that I think I would pay for. They've got a play area out the front of T-Rex as well. I've never seen this before. But they, Jimmy, they've got brushes. Oh look, hand wash station. The restaurant here is amazing. Amazing. We've been here three times now. Bye. As much as I love it there, I do think we should try something a bit new today, do you? Yeah. Something a bit different. They've got so many options here now. Paddlefish looks absolutely amazing, but I know that's one of the more pricey options. And we don't want to give Jim Art attack on a travel home day. We're taking the bridge down here, around the back of the, I think it's over there somewhere, the toy place where the void is. Oh, so that's where the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique is as well, right next to it. On the website, it looks like it's a Wreck It Ralph theme in the void now. This looks really cool. We're all checked in. Jimmy's got his wristband. You get to choose which one you do, Wreck-It Ralph or Star Wars, and we're going for Wreck-It Ralph. You get a choice of six characters, so I've gone for this one, because my favourite colour is yellow. This one is Big Jim, <laughs> loving the throw. And Jimmy's gone for this guy. What made you choose him? I like his hat. You like his hat? The total for doing this was something like $104 for all three of us. But we checked and there is lockers so we can put our bags away and Jim can wear his glasses. I have never spent as much on virtual reality as I've done in the past. Two days. 18 hours? No, 18 hours. It is a lot of money, but from what I've read online, the experience, it says to allow an hour, so it's going to kill a bit of time, and it's something I think Jimmy will really enjoy, and it's shorter than the cinemas, isn't it? So we know that we're going to be out of time and get some lunch. After you've paid over in that corner then, you have to sign a waiver just here. And then you get a wristband as well with an ID and your date. And all of that's quite cool. Just to give you an idea of what it's about. The water effects interest me. Temperature change and rumbling floors. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was amazing. Like literally speechless. Hands down the best thing. I can't believe that even can't exists that. that good. What did you think, Jimmy? That was literally amazing. Was it your favourite thing? Honestly, I think this is my favourite thing at Disney Springs. Really? Probably, probably I would like to do it again. Would you? Yeah, 100%. Actually, 100% do it again. Yeah? I hope they could do a new Marvel one. You want to do the Marvel one next time? Yeah. I can't even like explain just how amazing it is. You're going in teams of four, so we were sent in as a three. But if you're in a two, then they do sometimes pay you with another two. And what you do is you get like a, you've got like a big pack pack on, and you've got your VR headset. And when you look around at everyone, like Jim and Jimmy, we were all our own like individual characters. And like Jimmy was actually like Jimmy height as well, yeah. which was really funny because he was just like grown man with a top hat like it's Jimmy High and um and you walk round and you go through lots of different rooms and then at one point you get guns as well and you're shooting pancakes and things but there's like the wind there's the smells you like go through all these different rooms there's a whole storyline to it it's, it's just honestly I can't, that was worth a hundred dollars and it's not often what would you I, I'm my, my absolutely mind blown yeah and I never thought I'd say hundred dollars on basically a a 15 minute thing, 15 isn't it? minute walkthrough yeah. sort of video game, but it was worth every penny. Oh my penny. god, it, I'd that love was to, amazing. I'd love to go back into the Star, Star Wars one now. Yeah. It's about 12 o'clock now, and we're going to go to the Polite Pig for lunch, which is somewhere we wanted to try last year because it's on the quick service dining plan, but we never got chance. You hungry, Jimmy? I'm hungry. 
<laughs> We've gone for the butcher board and I'll insert a picture here of what that entails. You get quite a few things. You get to pick your two sides. We've gone for the Brussels, they sound interesting, and the sweet potato tots. One soda that we'll share between us. The total was 45 26 It's not bad for three of us. And then what you do is you place the tracker on the table and then the food will come out and find you. Jim's gone to fill up the drink. Shades indoors, cool dude. Uh, prescription. Gotta get some sauce as well. Some sauce box, I get one of these. Yeah, sure. Black pepper sauce. Oh, black pepper sauce sounds nice. Yeah. The butch board's come out super quick and it looks amazing. Some slaw here. Some muffins. These are the tater tarts. These are the sprouts. And that's some more slaw over there. Pickles, sausage, chicken, no, chicken, pork maybe. I mean, there is so much food here. I don't know what the little pies are, do you? They're muffins. Muffins. Jimmy's got a little selection of food to get cracking with. Is it nice? It's alright. Just alright. Really good. Yeah? No. I'm going to try one of the Brussels sprouts. I'm not always the biggest fan of Brussels sprouts, but they do look quite good on the menu. What do you think? Yeah, I like the sound of them. But they're nice. I think the good thing about ordering this as a platter is at least you do get to try lots of different things. No between us, but I, think, I, I do think this is probably a good option. Yeah, and it's a nice size for us as two adults. Yeah. And a little them. I remember now on the menu it said you get cornbread, so that's the cornbread. Jim says it's nice, like a muffin. <laughs> My overall review of Flight Pig was that it was very nice, but it was very rich food. And the best thing on there was the Brussels sprouts. Genuinely, like genuinely. What's your favourite thing? Pork. It was really good. I'm glad we got the sampler one. You know, so you could try quite a few little bits. So I would rate it about probably like seven and a half out of ten. Yeah. I'd say about 7 out of 10. It was alright, but I wouldn't really, I wouldn't highly recommend that to say. It was alright. Yeah. Ready for Jim's final thoughts? I feel like Jerry Springer. <laughs> um, I liked everything apart from the brisket. Yeah. I thought it was really nice. I'm only slight, not a proper thing. I don't think the batter could come out a little bit hotter. Obviously, it's quick service, it's just getting churned out. Yeah. Particularly, I like to give you the Brussels sprouts, I love the chicken, I love the cornbread as well. I think it's going to make it look like a muffin. Very, really nice. So, yeah, all in all, decent. I'll give it a solid 8 out of 10. Oh, okay, a bit higher. I love the little pig rolls here. And they've got so many different sauces. Talking it over, me and Jim have come to the same conclusion that we really liked it, we're glad we went, but we wouldn't rush back as like the top destination at Disney Springs. Oh my god, we've got to eat there. It's another one ticked off the list. Yeah, it's another one ticked off. I'm glad we tried somewhere new. Next up, we're going into World Disney. We'll have a little look, see if there's any new merch since we were last here. Well, that's something straight away that's new, isn't it? 2019. 2018, last time we were here, weren't it? One thing I do like looking at is the spirit jerseys here. I bought two last time and they were so comfortable. So I'm looking forward to see if there's any new ones of them. Nice to see they're still selling these. Jim bought this about, what, four years ago? Oh, it's a classic, isn't it? Classic, 39. Classic. It seems like everyone's got it. I love that there's this whole section de dedicated to snacks. Big doll whip in the middle. You can see like there's a pizza thing there. Churros up there. I just love it. We've got a hat with Aloha and a doll whip on it. I love it. <laughs> doll whip teddy. That's sick. Oh, what? The doll whip teddy? Oh, it says I'm scented. Oh, that's so good. Does it smell like doll whip? Yeah, it does. I don't think it really does. Oh, I it can't does. smell it. I can't smell it. I can. That's it. You tell a kid it's scented and then they think it's scented. No one says it's not. How much? Uh, $27.99. $27 Jimmy, I'll buy a tin of Del Monte. <laughs> get home. Yeah, just sniff some pineapple chunks at home, mate. 69p. It'd be great. We found a pizza box that I'm intrigued by. I'm wondering if it's a sweet pizza. Oh no, it's a t shirt. Oh, that's cool. Gutted. I thought it'd be a sweet pizza. I do like this snack money. You're going to need a bigger purse. <laughs> For the snacks we eat, $20. This is something that I do actually really like and want. And it's a doormat with all the doll whips on. 
That's going to be too big to take on the aeroplane though, isn't it? Oh God, it's weighty and all. Jesus, feel that. God, that's so heavy. Yeah, $35. Oh man. So you can't mate, Dad's helping you. Get off, get off. <laughs> Do you lift? <laughs> the missing arm day. <laughs> that is so awesome, but it'd take up like half your yeah, luggage weight allowance. Oh my goodness, this is my favourite character, Jiminy Cricket. Always let your conscience be your guide. Have you seen that shirt, Jim? Tell you what, it's not letting style be its guide though, is it? <laughs> oh, it's got Geppetto on it as well. Oh, That is the most disgusting shirt. I love it, I love it. 100% this is the one that Jim bought the other day for $20 at the outlets. I kid you not. Is this $64.99? $64.99 here. And got it. In large as well, that's the same size Jim got. No. Seriously guys, like do not buy this spirit jersey here when it is $20 in the outlets. Mum didn't Everyone raise no fool. Oh, oh no. The terrible bargains you'll find. <laughs> the terrible bargains you'll find here. Is that, is that right, mate? Oh, this is something I've never seen before. It's a hooded spirit jersey. Kind of defeats the point of the writing on the back, though, doesn't it? This is a nice one, though, with the stars and stripes on it. I do like that one. And it's got the, um, like, cuff detail. Oh, Jim, you see the front? It's a bit different on the front as well. It's got the... Yeah, I do like that one. This one though, I do think it is shouting out to people. I've been to Walt Disney World in America, innit? Look at this toy. Does it say Bonnie on the bottom? Oh, it's got Bonnie on it. Oh, I really... And the, oh, and it's proper, um, like, wire arms so you can pose it. Oh, how that is cute. Is. $20. No. Oh, um, um, I got it. You got it, have you? Yeah, I just got it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the bargains you'll find. <laughs> you just said the rip off a minute ago with the spirit jersey. This is a bargain. A bargain. A bargain. <laughs> to be fair, I do think this is one of the cutest like teddies with the little googly eyes. Everyone, realize in there, you should really just hold him up. It looks like the thing where he got fixed. Yeah, on the rocket. Yeah. I do love how open this store is now, so you can seat all the areas. It used to be so difficult to navigate. If I was to buy any spirit jerseys, I do like this purple one with like it's like purpley glitter. Ursula vibes. That is nice. But I've got two and you can only wear one at a time. So I'm good. Why you got two then? That cloud's looking a bit ominous, isn't it? Next up we're going to Ghirardelli. When we came here last year we had loads of dining plan credits left and snack credits left. Ghirardelli will swap them to a cash value but the best thing we got out of all of them was the hot chocolate weren't it? And I'm pretty sure it was like $5.99 a box or something I'll show you the price when we go inside. And me it was the milk chocolate. You liked the milk chocolate didn't you? Milk chocolate Ghirardelli, get in the belly. <laughs> So the plan is I'm looking to buy two boxes of hot chocolate so we can stock up on it. You up for that? Like night no, on the cocoa, don't we? Yeah, we look yeah. <laughs> That's about as exciting as it gets in our household, isn't it? Hot chocolate, bit of whipped cream, few marshmallows. Spot on. What are you after? I'm after chocolate. Chocolate. We're just gonna I'm just gonna get myself really big and chubby with some <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dad, <laughs> yeah, man. This is what we're after. Hot cocoa. You get eight packets for five ninety-five. Bargain. Four bars of these. Yeah, Jimmy wants some bars of chocolate. The deal here is you get three bars, you get one free, and they're only three ninety-five. So Jimmy's going to get four bars of caramel. This looks like quite a good deal too. Buy two bags for eight dollars, and they've got a new flavour, fudge caramel. Let's get two of them then. <laughs> no, no, put them back. We're totally rained in right now. Proper rain, isn't it? Some local rain all holiday. <laughs> oh God. I know, we moan when it's hot, we moan when it's rainy. We'll just hold out here for a few minutes, see if it dies down. Let's all just go to Unique Mode, wait for it to blow over. <laughs> hold on, no. <laughs> yeah, Sean of the Dead reference though. We've run over and sought shelter elsewhere outside a shop and the rain's just getting worse and worse. <laughs> While we're waiting in the shelter, I've told Jimmy you can crack open a little bit of Ghirardelli. A Ghirardelli? <laughs> yes, in this belly. 
<laughs> we do actually say that quite a lot at home, don't we? Ghirardelli get in my belly. Ghirardelli <laughs> got in Jim's belly. <laughs> We need, to get, uh, we need to get Ghirardelli Uchi belly, don't we, when we get back? <laughs> but uh, this rain is not quieting down. At this rate, it's probably going to be thunder and lightning. I'm going to miss a fly. Miss school. <laughs> Just say, saws stuck in a lamp <laughs> We've come into the Marvel store and they've got a build your own infinity gauntlet. That is pretty cool, Jimmy. Yeah, of course I can. We need to start the base. So We've chosen module one. We've gone for Spider Man. Module two is the middle. You've gone for Iron Man. I the only fantasy one side. That's what you would have gone for. Yeah. Right, shows your launcher then. That is sick, Jim. It's gone for all four parts. We've got Spider Man, Iron Man, Cap, and a Hulk launcher at the top. And you put your arm through and press the button. What happens when you press the button? It talks and lights up. So the most important part is what part you get at the front, I think, because that will count for what light features and voice and sounds you get. Yeah, That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, I look like this <laughs> The cost of this for the first three modules is 25, and then the launch is an extra 15, but of course you're gonna end up getting that. So it's like $40. To be fair though, it's quite a substantial toy. <laughs> He's tested it out. Should we go and pay? Yeah. The shop we got that from was the Marvel Superhero Headquarters, which is down sort of near the um, Cirque du Soleil end, isn't it? And the lady's given us two purple darts for this, so when you shoot, it will shoot out the darts. I don't know where from. Ah! Oh, oh look, Jimmy. Sorry. Yeah, there's two little things on the side, so it'll shoot out from there. Look at your Marvel dot. You've got your Marvel hat, your Marvel top, and now you've got your gauntlet. And Spider-Man. Oh, yeah, red shorts, yeah. You know what, for just over $40, that is a pretty cool toy and I love the toys where they're customisable and the kids get to choose a little bit. So you're well happy with that, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Who would have guessed it that on the last day we've done the best experience at the Void and Jimmy's got his favourite toy as well, hasn't he? It's been a really good day. We're going to go in and um, grab a lift now though over to the airport. So we've sort of gone up, we've gone on a real high and out. Now oh, the lowest of the lows. <laughs> it's like Bruce's price is right, climbing up the mountain. Straight onto the cliff. <laughs> We've made it to the airport. They look so much cooler than the milkshakes at home, don't they? Got a bit of whipped cream on, haven't they? Oh, no. Been off to a shake all holiday. I've not got round to <laughs> We've got a vanilla and a strawberry, and Jimmy's got a little bag of fries. Keep you going, Bob. For one medium fries and two large shakes, total 10.52. Not bad for a bit of a snack. I don't know if you'll be able to hear, but there's a harpist playing Game of Thrones. Can you hear it, Jim? Oh, it's pretty cool. By the time we've had the milkshake and fries, it's like 20 past three now, and it says boarding starts at four for the flight to go at five. So I think we're gonna go and go through security now. Skipping the shops, Jim will be pleased to know. <laughs> it was here where I spent like $30 on a cup for work. <laughs> <laughs> so we will be happy that we're skipping the shop. Not I think it's she makes that like. He is tight. <laughs> no, I'd just like to wind him up. No, we're not. We're going to go through. Ten minutes. Four. Ten minutes. No, it's gone. Security time. We're just walking up to security now and it's predicting the wait to be 22 to 26 minutes. So that should just about get us through for like four o'clock, shouldn't it? Maybe time to board. Yeah. Hopefully there won't be so much waiting around this time because usually through the terminals it's pretty boring although it did look like they were building some more stuff when we came in September didn't it? We're just waiting to get the monorail back now aren't we? Oh look at that face. Well, Jim there's a Starbucks over here now and the Bahama Breeze has opened. It looks quite busy actually to be fair. It's now quarter past four. Apparently boarding was starting at four, takeoff's five. Can't believe that, hopefully, we think that we've nailed it with uh, timings for getting through and everything. So usually we're hanging around here for ages. We're gate 81, so we're gonna walk down and just see what the situation is. I bet this is us here. At least we're not late. There's loads of people hanging around. I don't know how we've done it, but we literally got to the gate and they were just boarding rows 40 to 80 and we're row 80. 
we've just managed to lie literally just like wander straight Wait, onto the plane like leisurely <laughs> we've never done anything leisurely it's always been and too slow we've never done it when we're eight Smoking we're like organized we normally we're sat around for ages so spot on. i'm gonna time. put the camera away off. now and we're just gonna chill for the flight have a sleep and then when i get back i'll start editing <laughs> <laughs> so it's all over again. By the time you see this, I wouldn't be surprised if we're already back in Florida because it's not that far away till we go. So thank you for watching this vlog series. We'll have another one for you very, very soon. And we'll see you later. <laughs> so guys, we'll see you in the next series. Bye. So guys, it's the end of the video. So please like, subscribe and, you know, do all that good stuff and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.